Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So this is my second update for Finish 7 by Spring. So I will just get into everything. In my first update, I had finished up this body lotion. This is the Bath & Body Works. It's a triple moisture body cream in London Tulips and Raspberry Rain. And then I had also finished up one of this sheet mask. This is um, the green tea one. So for one item, I have these three sheet masks. So my plan was to use one of these a month. So I'd used this up in the first few weeks. Um, in the last month, I've used up the mango mask. So I only have one mask left to finish up, and this is the aloe essence mask. So I'm right on schedule with these. This was kind of a gimme product. Um, that's why I do have like three of them to count as one. But these are some stuff that I've got in from friends that have gone. I think they've got them in Korea. I want to say different places in Asia, but they're all like Korean masks. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things that I have had sitting around for a while. So that's why I did put them in this project. So I'm right on schedule with these. I have one left. And these have been nice to use. I don't necessarily know if they do a lot. And I think these are hard to really do anything because they are single-use masks. But I just enjoy the process of using them. And, you know, I just like laying down and like... You know, I'm not having to do anything for 20 or 30 minutes while I put on one of the masks. So I haven't enjoyed using these. So I have one of these left, so that will be no problem to use up. Um, the next thing I have is this Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Sensitive. And in the last update, I think I had like one or two uses left. So in the past month, I've completely used this up. And you can see my mark. That's... It's just a little sample. I think I got this in a birch box at some point. And I had used about half of it up. And now it's completely used up. And then I did like using this. Um, but this was another thing. I mean, it's so little. You think it wouldn't have taken me long to use up. But um, I haven't been subscribed to birch box in a while. And I still haven't finished this little thing up. So finished this one up. And I definitely will be repurposing the little container. I think it's the perfect size for like travel. Um, so excited about that. I finished up another skincare item. This is the Suki Face. This is the exfoliate foaming cleanser with lemon grass extract and natural sugar. So this smelled really, really good. Um, it just smells like lemon and sugar. Basically that is what it is just a sugar scrub. I really liked using this in the shower. It foams up really nicely and I did really like using it. It really left my skin feeling really clean. The one thing about it, and I don't know if it's just me being paranoid, but I always like to follow this up with another cleanser. I just felt weird about just using a sugar scrub on my face and then not following up with anything else to kind of rinse off the sugar. I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, there's no sugar left on your face, but it's just psychologically I felt that it was kind of weird. And I don't really understand if sugar is supposed to be so bad for you. Like, why are we like putting it onto our face? So I don't know. But I did like it. I like the experience of using it. I don't necessarily know if it did anything. Um, it's probably not something I'd run out and repurchase, but I did really like using it. So there's that. So I finished up that item. And then I also finished up, and this is so exciting. I've been working on these for a long time. But the Harajuku Lovers perfumes in G and Music. And there's like, if you can see, I don't know if you can even see, there's just a teeny tiny bit of perfume left. But they're at the point I can't spray anything else out. So these I'm calling good. These are done. So happy these are done, and now I can like use my like new perfumes that I got from Sephora. So, so excited that these are finished. And then my next item are these Bosha masks. So, the black mask I've completely used up, and the white mask I used this the other night. I think it will be only about one use left of this. So, 
almost finished and I was using these or I'm using these like once a week uh, mainly on Sunday nights I really like putting on a mask these ones are nice because you know you need to leave it on your skin for like 20 or 30 minutes so that you can peel it off once it's fully dry otherwise you're just gonna have a mess you really need to have enough time to do these masks so I think Sunday nights are perfect for that for me so I've loved doing these once a week um, between the two, I prefer the black mask. It's a little more detoxing, where the white mask is supposed to be more brightening. Um, I really like doing a peel-off mask. I would consider repurchasing the black one. I actually used up a full size of it. Um, I think last, sometime last year I finished up a full size of the black one, and I had gotten these in a 500-point perk from Sephora. Um, so I definitely am looking into, I'm interested in the First Aid Beauty um, it's like the red clay mask, because that's the peel-off mask. Or maybe one of the other Bosha ones. I think there's maybe four or five different types they have. But between these two, I definitely would prefer the black mask. I still like the white mask, but I do like the detox, the fine kind of effect of the black mask. So, liked these. Shouldn't be any issue to use up. Only one more use, or one or two more uses of this white mask, and then this will be done. And then the last item that I'm working on is the Bath & Body Works Truebly Spa Shea Butter Super Rich Foot Cream. Last time I was rewatching my video, I was about to hear, and I really hadn't gotten into the habit of using it. I wasn't very sure if I would be able to use it up. But in the past month, I've made a ton of progress, and if you can see, I didn't really mark this. Um, well, I didn't mark it, but if you can see, I have only have a little bit left. I've gotten in a very good habit. I've been using this most nights, and I really like to use this. Put it on my like my feet. It's a foot um, cream, and then put on like really fuzzy socks. I love that because I don't really like foot cream and then walk around on my bare feet because I feel it just attracts your feet like attract all the dirt and stuff. So I definitely love putting on fuzzy socks, and I've really gotten into the habit of doing this. And I'm really excited that this is almost used up, and I don't think this will be an issue to use up either. So what I have left, because all of my products are like, I've used up something, but my seven items is really like more than seven. So all that I have left to use up is one sheet mask. That should be no problem. This white mask, which has like one use left, so these two shouldn't be an issue, and then the foot cream. So the foot cream is the really the only thing that I'm really going to have to continue to con like use consistently to use it up. But as you can see, I really don't have much left. So I really don't think it will be a problem for me to use up any of these items. And I'm super excited that this project gave me a chance to kind of use up some items. A lot of this stuff I've had for a while and it's been sitting around for a while. And I'm sure if I didn't do this project, they'd still just be sitting around. So I think this project was really great, really great motivation, and especially for spring. You think of like spring and like spring cleaning and stuff. So really love this project and really excited that I was able to move some things out of my collection. So that is my update. I hope if you're doing this project that it's going well for you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.